All right, guys, here we go. The season finale. My last brother's favorite, which is everybody in the house favorite, or which was, was the three-layer chocolate cake. This cake right here was everything, let me tell you. And this is the first time that I've made a three-layer chocolate cake in about 30 years. Because we weren't eating this no more. <laughs> we was getting too big for our own good, honey. So we was we was chopping it down to two layers. But honey, let me tell you something. My mother made this cake. We was the happiest, most best kids acting, I mean, that you ever won't see. Because this was the cake. The church knew about it. The friends knew about it. The family definitely knew about it. And anyone else that wanted to know, here it is right here. My mama's infamous three-layer chocolate cake. As you see, I had to get me some other pans because I only had two cake pans. So I said, you know what? I'm going to fix this and I'm not going to be doing no dishes either. Okay? So I went out and bought me the disposable cake pans. Yes, I did, honey. And I wasn't too particular this time. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put it in here and it's going to come out even. And if it don't, it's still going to work. Okay? It will work. So, anywho, let me give you a quick story. Because my other brother, he didn't come on. So, now I'm about to tell his business. This is his funny story with my mama. So, once again, we at church. <laughs> we at church. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get through this fast. We at church and everything, and it was a Friday night, and we all had to go to church. We had to sing, and my brother was there, and he had to play them drums, and we had to sing. So, we had the church, and my brother wanted to be out with his boys, hanging out and doing whatever. My mom was like, no, you were going your way to church. So, he came in the church with an attitude. So, he had to sit there and play them drums with an attitude. So, we came in. <laughs> you know, you have prayer, and we going to got to stand, and you got to pray. He thought he was real cute, and he going to sit there at them drums, and I'm about to look at him with that eye, and he jumped up because he knew what that meant. Get your butt up, right? So we don't went, <laughs> we don't went through the prayers up, because you know in the Color Folk Church, prayer about 15, 20 minutes, but we was praying. God is good. Honey, when the prayer was over, all right, first of all, my brother jumped up. When the prayer was over, my brother went to sit back down in that chair and hit the flow in church. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the drums, the cymbals, everything went crashing down. <laughs> and when my mother got up to preach, she said, you see what, you see what God did to you? You better be obedient. You're supposed to be obedient to God. And you see what he did? He moved that chair right from underneath you and put you right on your butt. Let me tell you how I had to, you know, you put the finger up to go, excuse me. I had to go to the back of the church because let me tell you something. I had tears in my eyes. That was the funniest thing. I mean, that woke everybody up in the church because dumb drums like, push, 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 bang, bang. You, you ain't know what was going on. All you knew is he was getting his butt up off that floor. <laughs> and I told him if he didn't come on to give his story, I was telling his story. Yes, he bust his butt in the church, okay? Everybody saw it. See how God sound like ugly? Anyway, that was my brother's story. Do y'all see how big these cakes I mean, look at the layers of these cakes. This don't make no sense. I don't know what my mom was saying or what was she thinking in her mind to be like, let's make this three-layer cake. But she did it, and we loved it. And I still wish she was here to do it again, honey, because I miss my mama. This is her season, my season finale to my homage to my mom for her birthday month. Mom, I love you. I miss you Dearly, dearly, there's not a day to go by that you don't cross my mind. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this cake <laughs> because, honey, <laughs> it was a doozy. My husband looked at that cake. He was like, "Who is who gonna eat that cake?" I was like, "We is." He was like, "You better take half that cake to work." I'm like, "Look, don't even worry about it. Half my job already got dipped on this cake." They was like, "Make sure you bring me peace." They sending me. Texas about don't forget the cake, don't forget the cake. So they gonna get the cake. 
All right, they know, because we, we definitely not eating all this darn cake. All right, there ain't that many people in my house to be eating up all this cake. Here we go. <laughs> so many memories. Anywho, thanks, guys. Thanks for staying with me through this homage yet again. And who has not gave me my Sephora Squad testimonial? The link is in the bio. Once again, guys, thanks for being with me for another journey. Bye.